What do you expl think explains the people of color who support Trump? They're stupid. Do you think it would help the nation if Trump was impeached? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. It tells everybody that we will not tolerate the kind of behavior he's, he's flaunted, absolutely flaunted in front of us. He does not appreciate our, our uh, democracy one bit. He just helps himself, anything for himself. He's evil. Evil is a good word. It is unacceptable, we have to say that. Do you think what he's done is, because I don't think anyone argues that he's crude and right. you know, right. a, yeah. a bully and a name caller and right. he's taken decorum and thrown out the window, but right. do you think what he's done is illegal or impeachable? Yes. yes. Is asking a foreign, a government, foreign government for help to, help to intervene him. in our elections? No. I mean, really? It's, That's what Mueller report was all about. And he's doing it. We both read a book called um, How Democracies Die. It is probably one of the scariest books I've ever read because we are this close. Like a Trump playbook. Yeah. You call you call the media fake, you yeah. you find and a common enemy, yeah. which in this case is the the uh, immigrants, and then you you call your enemies names, and then you you, you can see, and it's been written, that he, he's usurping power. He brings in the more power to the presidency. I'd be afraid if he didn't leave. I mean, he might he might not even go he after two terms. Leave. Yeah. He's that arrogant. And there's no guardrails from his Republicans right. keeping him in line. That's Nothing. the scary thing. But in, because in oh, years past, with Nixon and the, the Republicans <laughs> stepped up for democracy. And they're not doing that. There's no guardrails on him because they're too damn afraid of us. Why do you think he has such huge following? What's going through their heads? And what do you think goes through their heads? Well, that's the $64,000 question, right? I'm, I think he appeals to people who felt, rightly or wrongly, that they're being left behind. Well, I got, I and they're afraid of losing their white majority in this country. And that's, to me, why they support him. Some of them are racist, too. You know, they, they agree with him. Yeah, I got to do it too. That's why I go by. You don't have to answer this because it, it's, it's Nothing controversial. Bothers. Nothing bothers me. So. Okay. Well, <laughs> what, then what do you expl think explains the people of color who support Trump? They're stupid. <laughs> stupid, stupid, stupid. When I see, I'm a Mexican descent. When I see a Mexican out there, it just kills me. It's like, or a Hispanic. It's like, don't you know that he's calling your kids, uh, I have two sons, rapists? I mean, it's like, you know, that's what he thinks of all of us. Right. Uh, you know, so Mexican that th that they can overlook that or choose to ignore that, you see as just. I think they're just. I have one nephew. Not doing their homework. Right. I have one nephew that that is a Republican and for Trump, but he's 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 married to a, a white woman and her family, and they're they're. I, I love them to death, but. Um, they're all Trumpers, and he's kind of like just leaning toward them. They've like brainwashed him, you know? I haven't talked to him yet. When I do, I have more to tell. This is a son? No, this is my nephew. nephew. No, my two sons are way too smart. Way too smart. They're good, good human beings, you know? Do you think Trump, because he came out just swinging, that there's a certain appeal to that kick-ass, you know, I, kind of... Who? Who likes that stuff? But do you think some people might, and that's what that's what they like? Straight talk yeah. doesn't oh. doesn't hold back. Do you think that that's appealing for people? It's funny that you should Isn't use it? the word straight talk when it's been how many documented lies in this world? It ain't straight talk. It's it's. <laughs>
I guess I guess the name calling, you know, calling yeah. out people like yeah. unafraid of, you know, no. I'm not gonna worry about being too diplomatic. Right. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Yeah. I, I think he has that um, image. Yes, and absolutely. And that, that helps him. Yes. Do you sometimes wish the Democrats would be a bit more gloves off, take it yeah, to them? I do. Be a little I do. tougher, I maybe, do. I in, do. in the scrapping. Yeah. I, I, I do, and it's it's sad, but you know, you don't. It seems like lately you don't win by being passive and yeah. keeping your mouth closed. Yeah. You know, being super nice. Uh, I still want them to be nice. Just you know, yeah. You just have to be more, a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Not not pathetic like him, but when you look back at this time, do you think a lot of it will be much ado about nothing? Like, even though Trump got in the White House and he was a wild card, that things in the country really didn't change that much. Do you think that, that there's truth to that too? You mean with what he's done and yeah, how he's like acted? People, you know, oh, they'll never forget. I will never forget. Never. I mean. I think people that have been affected like that, how could you forget that we have such a horrible person, you know, in office? And I hope my kids don't forget. I, I you know, and I'm not a hateful person, but no, I, um, he will go down as a, just an evil person. Do you think that he's, but yeah, a lot of people I've talked to when he first got elected predicted doom and gloom within, you know, 12 months. And now it's been almost three years this November when he won the election. <laughs> um, are you surprised things have held together in the country as well as they have? I there? don't think they've held together very well. I mean, people are, are, are as nice as, as they were with each other. I think there's more violence. People are not as nice with each other. You know, they're, they're bullying people of color. I mean, it's, it's made it worse. Well, let's switch gears and talk about the, the Democratic appeal. It, it's hard to choose because when you look at them on the debate stage, any one of them would be better than Trump. They're smarter than Trump. They're more patriotic than, than him. I think it's going to be the young people that are going to determine this election. And I think they're looking for a younger candidate or a female candidate. Is it safe to say you would vote for the Democratic nominee, no matter who the Republican, you know, no matter who the Republican nominee is, because that's just the, that's just how you align politically is with Democratic politics. More I so? do. I do. I'll never vote for a Republican. I would if there was somebody halfway decent, but there isn't. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, they're extreme. They're they're controlled by the extreme right. Nor do I want to be controlled by the extreme left, but uh, so I like Biden because he's moderate. I like I Warren too. Anyway, I, do I too. like no. Elizabeth Warren. I like yeah. Kamala. I like Kamala. Really like her Cory too. Booker. Yeah, I, I like Booker. Like, yeah. How about Klobuchar? I like her a lot. A lot. Are you all from here in Minnesota? We I'm are. from Duluth, and, and I like Amy Klobuchar, but I could never support her. Oh. Would you mind saying why? Because she is in support of Polly Met My Name. And I live on Lake Superior, okay. and if that dam breaks, Lake Superior will be contaminated for hundreds of years. Okay. So I can't support her. I will have to vote for her if she's the nominee. Right. Uh -huh. But I will not support her with money or time or work. Okay, fair enough. I appreciate that local insight. I didn't know about that. Actually. Oh, yeah. Those local issues are the most important, I think. Yes, they are. Uh, All politics they affect is their everyday local. Lives. Yeah, I agree. <laughs>